Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are back on the rock full of braids, an ever increasing amount of stuff in the wilds of space. Got four asteroids now, we currently inhabit two of them, looking to the future to be able to get onto these other ones. To do that, we need to unlock some research. Yes, we are working on it down here, but over back on reversing our original asteroid with all the lava over the top that we're slowly trying to drain away but we have a little bit of a research lab over here and our pitiful pitiful attempt to make rad bolts for our material study terminal the material study terminal gives us the yellow science i think is the nice easy way to describe it there and we have been pouring uranium ore into this manual rad bolt generator hopefully someone will be coming along to show us how that works soon enough uh, and then we spend quite some time to produce five rad bolts we need 10 rad bolts for every point of science so we need to come up with a better way of doing that in our radiation tab we've got the radiation uh, the red bolt generator and we also have as you could see from that green overlay some plants over here that are quite radioactive so maybe we can take care of that oh i wonder whether any of these sleep wheat have been getting radio sized i don't know i don't know but to be able to take care of Weasel, what? Because of course we kind of want to surround the Rad Bolt Generator entirely. Uh, so we're going to need to farm them. And to farm them, we need Phosphorite. Yes. Where do you get Phosphorite? Well, I mean, you can just dig it up. Let's speed Rutherford up here so we can see the little uh, chain of causality here. Boom. It goes in and uh, we've, we've now got... 9.8 red bolts. It's, it's a small amount of red bolts. We we need to do better, and that's why we're going to do this. Phosphorite. Would you believe it? It's made by these things over here. Dracos. Every time they eat either a pinch of pepper, balm lily, or millwood, they excrete some phosphorite. And I was like, great, we've got pinch of peppers around. There's uh, that's balm lily. There's a pinch of pepper just over there. We could set a small farm up here, drag everything around, make, make a nice box, save ourselves from the vacuum of space, get the shearing on the go, and also the phosphorite production, making this place much more useful than it already was. And b believe me, the reed fibre very useful but to farm pinch of pepper not only do you need to have it quite warm that's fine i've got a feeling we're gonna need to have it quite warm in here anyway but we also need to um fertilize with phosphorite the same thing that we're trying to farm so let's not do that we do have balm lilies though chlorine we've got chlorine down here we could we could set up a nice little area maybe send a pip oh do we have access to a pip here i don't know if we have access to a pip here but we can even just farm balm, balm lilies. I mean, we've got two balm lilies down here. Body temperature is the only thing that needs to be uh, to changed up there. Okay, we can we can make this work. Shall we make this work? Let's make this work. <laughs> Would you believe I'm running out of materials over here on uh, Pyaxlin? Thankfully, we do have this nice little store of copper down here that uh, hopefully, yeah, is coming to be dug up any moment. And we could use that to expand our building capabilities. I'm wondering whether we are trying to... No, we're not transporting it here. I would like to send that uranium ore through, though. So my big question is how many of these balm lilies are we going to need to grow to be able to give us a fair amount of phosphorite? And I, I actually don't even know how to begin working that out. I suppose it gives us this much per harvest. Doesn't say how long it takes for harvest though. 12 cycles, okay. 48 for the, the non-domesticated ones. Wait, the domestic growth doesn't need any more than what the wild growth requires either. It's amazing English, by the way. Uh, we might just rip them up and have a bunch of balm lilies down here in farms. That that might be the better way of doing it. We could then... I mean, I was going to fill in blocks over here anyway to try and push the chlorine up into this area. So, yeah, let, let's try and make this a bit more of a box. <laughs> This entire wall is made out of phosphorite. <laughs> that's, that's, that's nice. I like that. Okay, Maxwell is bringing this first uh, balm lily to be planted. That's pretty nice. I've gone ahead and 
traced out the line of space exposure here. All these tiles have space behind them and that would lose some of the hydrogen if we were to let it go that way. So I'm trying not to do that. The other thing I'm trying to do is maximize our space. So if I come to the room overlay, you can see we've got 81 tiles. Let's call it 79 at the moment because minus this tile and the farm tile. So we do need to, uh, to loosen it up a little bit more. 96 is what we're aiming for. I don't know if we've got the 17 tiles to skim, but I'm going to try it. One, two, three, four. I'm, I'm not going to make you listen to me count. I mean, this first layer is 10. Okay. Also had a little bit of a rearrangement up here. Let's start actually uh, taming the Drecos. I'm going to put the grooming station right at the very entrance of the stables. Try and cut down that travel time. Uh, we might be able to see the space exposure here where we've got a corner... Um, available franklin's gone along and made the delivery no one's gonna dig it though that's that's unfortunate oh oh Cur curie's got it curie's got it beautiful look there's space there's space back there we, we got to be careful hopefully we're not losing any materials to the sideways there that that would be pretty poor who's going to actually build the tile though maybe franklin maybe curie in the background, our space research has just ticked over, giving us batteries and solar, so we can actually try and get some sort of research mission on the go. That will be something to aim towards later on. Uh, what else do we want to just knock out quick whilst we can? Spa space toilets. Yes, space toilets. Okay, and a totally not over-the-top move. I've completely hijacked the... I've got this the right way around. I've got hijacked the waste pipeline because I am. Oh, this is this is why this exosuit, uh, this oxygen mask dock needs to be put in place to give the gas somewhere to go. But I've put down this gas mask so that our rancher is not dying in all the hydrogen here, uh, so they can stay and do the entire cycle. I watched uh, I watched Ruben wander on up here, come to the grooming station, whistle whistle for the Draco, and then had to run away from the choking fumes i mean weak 92 tile stable that's pretty good we'll take out those last four and that will give us the 96 that we're after we're going to be breeding these drecos up we've got a little bit of temperature control over here because these balm lilies are not warm enough waiting for those last two to go in but other than that oh and also i put an automatic dispenser in to drop down that's it. It's in there somewhere. There's a little bit of bleach stone just le leaking out enough chlorine to keep the uh, the balm lilies happy. With the oxygen mask also being put in place, I think I think we're done here. But something else that's been going on in the background as soon as that auto save is done, you can see that I've been going around and picking up all of the phosphorite. Unfortunately, I think most of the phosphorite has been going in there. Let's turn that one off because the other place I've been asking for it to go is across to reverse lid. Yes, that's right. It's time to start concentrating on what we are going to do about making all of our rad bolts over here. We're definitely going to be like making a hole through. Ah, this is not the ideal way of doing it. It, but we're gonna gonna do it this way anyway uh and throwing some red bolts through the side i wonder if there's a better way there, there's got to be a better way for instance can we turn this around no no we can't so really we need to build a material study terminal like over here somewhere no pip no no unless unless you're gonna plant some more weeds warts please stop Okay, I think this is going to be the situation that we're going to go with. We're going to have a whole bunch of wheeze warts in these farm tiles here. These rad bolt generators are going to grab the radiation coming off of the wheeze warts. Once again, just to remind you, look how green it is. Lots of radiation coming off of that. Fire it up through this diagonal and this straight up to the rad bolt reflector, which will then fire to this rad bolt reflector, which will fire straight down into the machine. I did go through a few other ideas before I settled on this one. I was trying to figure out whether I could get the uh, weeds warts above so that we could fire directly down though uh, thus not having as much as many transport losses as the rad bolts travel from the generators to the reflector or the reflector of the, through through the through the atmosphere shall we say as it travels through the atmosphere uh, there are losses to be had uh, and I would like to keep them down as minimal as possible. Uh, that's why I had also considered taking this tile out and firing it straight upwards but unfortunately 
unfortunately, without this tile here, the rad bolt generator, uh, the material study terminal, that's what it's actually called, uh, wouldn't be operational. Rutherford, I need you to stop doing that, and I need people to come over here onto this. We have reached the maximum number of rad bolts, so we're just kind of wasting uranium right now. Let's move rad Rutherford off of there and see. Ah, it's the only thing he's going to do. Plank, can we get you up there? We, we, we do have stuff to be chewed up. Uh, it's specifically queued up to eat through these rad bolts. Doesn't, doesn't look like it's going to work. There we go. We got, we got we got Plank on it. And whilst Plank's on it, Boar's going to go around and do a whole bunch of deliveries. I think I might also, while we're at it, seal off this kitchen properly. Just, just to make it look nice. Wow, we chewed through those incredibly quickly. All right, let's uh, let's put the priorities up on these builds somewhat and see if we can't get people working on these rather than the rad bolt generators. What, what's Rutherford actually set up to do? Cooking supply, store meat, dig. Okay, that's that's fine. We'll follow we'll follow Rutherford around for a little bit. Let's see what goes on for the rest of the day, shall we? And whilst we discover how Rutherford is actually the secret backbone of our original colony here, I would like to take a moment right here and thank the secret backbone of my channel. That's right, my patrons scrolling up the screen right now you will see a list of names a list of names of people that have taken the time out of the day and the money out of their wallet to make sure me and my shenanigans on the internet are funded enough to actually carry on going through the summer now that i'm not staying in university halls these are the guys and girls that are funding the electricity the very electrons that travel through the wires into the machine that i am talking to you on right now so once again from the very very bottom of my heart Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, that's the vast majority of pieces in place. Look at this guy putting Sleep Week down. That's not what we want. What we're going to do, of course, is go around and... Uh, you know what? I'm going to put it in the central central tile first. Start putting all our weasel warts down. Yes, indeed. This one should be able to irradiate both this rad bolt generator and this rad bolt generator over here. Upwards, if you could. They both fire at this reflector, the reflector picks it up, fires it across this one, bam, 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 around it goes. Alright, beautiful, beautiful. Do you know what else I spotted whilst we were watching Rutherford run around? This. What happened here? I have no idea. I just suddenly am seeing water, so I've asked them to mop that up. I, I don't... I don't even know where it came from, if I'm to be honest. <laughs> Okay, this Weezwort now producing radiation. It will bathe these two in 300. That's more than it was supposed to be. Okay, that's that's good. Ah, I forgot to power the thing. That's not the end of the world. I am wondering how much load we've got on this thing, though. Maybe we could do... Wow, look at this. This goes everywhere. Okay, I've decided that I'm going to move a uh, part of this power spline across the top of the, the buildings here. Most of the traffic comes underneath and then up and through, so we should be okay with that situation. We do need to move this exosuit forge, though. I, I, I'm fine with that. We'll make that happen. Uh, and then we'll put a new power... I think we'll have, just have a line of power transformers over this way. That, that might be the way to do it. We definitely then split this... Oh, I mean, it's not really doing much over here, is it? Okay, we'll have one of these coming down here that that's probably the easy way to do this and then separate this off into its own unit these guys down here and then we could destroy these and obviously this as well uh, and then pump the power into this lot but we're gonna need better power power wires definitely gonna need better power wires do we do we have material to do it with Maybe we want to send some lead over. Refined metal, lead. We've got we've got an awful lot of lead over here on Pi Axon. Can we can we see it somewhere? Not not here. Let's have a look. Lee. I can type, really. Uh 16 tons. Let, let's let's send a couple of tons over, shall we? And we hope that the thing they're gonna send over is indeed the the lead rather than, rather than everything else that we've got to be sent here. But all of it needs to be sent anyway, so that that should be fine. Like what are you what are you carrying? Phosphorite, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> You know what we need over here is an arty supplier. That that would be great. It just so happens that I've got a printing pod here. I've not looked at it. Let's have a look. Decorate farming. Close. Tidy round, you know, research, cooking, decorating. I mean, they're good. They're not what I'm after, though, so we're going to take the, the, the sandstone for now. Oh, man, this is going to take a while to overhaul my power supply. Ah. <laughs> Quick check on Pyaxlin. Uh, we've still got carbon dioxide in here. We've still got all the gas in there. Oh no, oh no, oh no. We, we, we've got a problem again. It's because I haven't done an overflow in the same way I've done an overflow here, but that's nice and easy to do. We break this line here. We put down a ventilation pipe. Oh, this, was, this was just gonna be a little bit of a filler, but it turns out actually 
I've got stuff to do. And then from the output, if it can flow, if it, if it can't flow into here, it will flow around. Okay, this, this should get fixed very quickly. Okay, four or five cycles later, we've got most of the lead line put in place. Just waiting for these guys down the end here to be done. I'm just going to make sure it gets done with the highest of priorities because you know, there's other things being set off uh, that I need to deal with. When we were replacing the power line back here, you can see we were dropping copper ore on the floor, but we've, we've got two smooth hatches in there. So any copper ore that got dropped down here is now copper, which then got et by, was it the smooth hatch or uh, was it the stone hatch or was it the, uh, the regular hatch? I don't know, but the actual copper got eaten as well which is a, a little annoying hence why i've got them down to be destroyed but other things need to happen first oh, speaking of look we've made our first rad bolt via the um radiation from wheeze warts that's that's really cool that's like really cool oh wait we're not going to be able to put a wheeze wart here we need to move these ones down one okay that, that, that's fine it's not not the end of the world we're just going to move stuff Okay, I'm changing the release number up to 55 rad bolts so that we get two deliveries of what should be 50 when it reaches the material study terminal. I have no idea what the losses are going to be over this distance, but that should give us a full material study uh, to deal with there. Okay, we got, we, got, we got some other problems kicking off, but these are nothing to worry about. I, re I just I want to watch this happen now. Oh, one, one of them just went. Oh my gosh, did you see that? How many did we get through? How many? 48. Oh, maybe, maybe we need to turn them up by two more. Uh, I, I really want to watch this one go now. Let, let's speed her up and see if we can't watch this happen. 53. Give us give us 54. Okay, 55 is coming. I'm going to slow us down just a little. There it goes. Oh, no. What a waste. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to turn this. Oh, it's only at 50. I, I wanted this at 55. Okay, that, that makes some sense. All right, that, that, that may be why we only got 48 through. So actually, we'd be getting too many. Maybe only 52 is what we needed, but I'm going to go with 55. That gives us a little bit of a buffer. Okay, Plank has just finished the research. This means we have, we're have we on our way to doing any of this yellow research that we want to do. Let's, let's finish off this glass blowing one, even though we can't smelt glass right now. Hang about, where, where is the glass? Yeah, superheated. You know what? That, that, that's aimed for glass forging. We're not going to be making glass until a little while, but I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. We're, we're going to make use of the red bolts that are coming in. I'm not sure what we're going to do with all these rad bolts when we have done all the research that we need to do. I, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. But this, this is a beautiful setup. So my plan was to put two extra wheeze warts under it. I don't, th I don't think we need it. I think what I'm gonna do is if we have a look at the radiation here, I could put some radiation blocking materials uh, like here and here. I wouldn't be able to put them underneath because my plan is to go along and fertilize from the underside where the radiation is only like 100 rads per cycle as opposed to the 300 rads at the top here. 400 yeah okay that that might be the thing that we do yes <laughs> i wonder if clay's better at blocking rads than dirt i mean that that's something to be checked out at some point farm tire radiation blocking 60 are any of these made out of clay rather hang about i'm gonna go find one Okay, here's one in the Draco farm. This is made out of dirt. This one here, if we look at the property, 60% and then clay, 50 No, we're using the right material with the dirt. Okay, that's good. Well, not as good as plastic tiles, though, 68. But of course, we can't pl plant Weasel on uh, plastic tiles, so we're just going to have to... Oh, there he goes again. Boom. I love that. That is great. But I think with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Over the next day or so, I'm going to go around and decide which four Weez Warts we're going to pick up and put into this system here. It's not going to be that one, because that's cooling my battery down. But I think I am done here. We've made ourselves a beautiful little system for creating a whole bunch of radiation and going towards my material study, filling that bad boy up. Oh, that, that is amazing. Over on Pyaxlin, we did, of course, also make a Draco farm to get the... Oh, starving. Oh, of course they're starving. These guys are still not up to temperature but we're working on it we are working on it these guys of course are being for our phosphorite farm of course so we could feed the weeds warts i'll see you next time where we're going to unlock all of this research tree in fact and we're not going to unlock it all, all up to this line here and probably make use of some of the materials so we can start making our way out into the actual wilds of space but i'll see you then when we're gonna do that bye